Okay, this is it. If it doesn't work, I am going back to the Phoenix or the 737. This has got to work. I did a quick little test. It worked. I am confident. I uninstalled it, reinstalled it. I am confident that it will work okay so let's jump in okay let's get things underway let's bring in the uh efb let's uh, load up a bit of fuel in these ones just so we have there we go all right and this one as well okay that's good. <laughs> I'll, I'll be back. Brilliant. Okay. Before start checklist, let me just check something here. Yes, we are good. We are good. Okay, let's go. So he's doing all his switches and everything. There we go. Everything's coming on. Completed. He sounds Tested. South African, eh? Tested. Oil coolers and cow flaps. That's American. Auto and auto in position. He's coolers. South African. Checked. Pressurization. Set. Manifold and duct pressure. Checked. Radios. 
Okay, we got our uh, flight plan in there. Checked. Doors and hatches. Are closed. Flying over Frankfurt. Good. Closed. Door warning lights. Out. Gear pins. Removed. Three on board. Seat belts and pedals. Adjusted. Throttles. Set to idle. Propellers. Forward and three. start checks complete okay we're gonna start the engines all right engine three there we go both selector on pumps on okay start three six nine twelve okay boost and prime Okay. There we are. They're all done. Okay. Let's do engine four. There we go. Up. Engine four. Select four. Pump. Booster pump on low. Start. Boost and prime. There we are. Wait for these switches to go back to where they were. There we go. There we go. Boost and prime. Okay, engine two. There we go. So, ignition, selector, bow selector. There we go. Boost pump and start. Yeah, Three, Phoenix is simple compared to this. Six, five, twelve. Boost and prime. There we are. Okay. Boost and prime. Wait for that. That's a uh, mixture. There we go. Okay. Selector ignition. Both. Selector one. Boost pump low. Start. Boost and prime. And we have ignition. We've got four engines running. Listen to that. It sounds so nice. Okay, we are good. Off the start check. Start selecting those pumps. Off and off. Battery switch. Plane entry. Generators and inverters. Checked and on. Emergency lights. Armed. Ground power. Ground power is removed. Off the start check is complete. Okay, we can push back. So, what did I do? I installed pushback toolbar because <laughs> I am missing this so much. Okay, let's uh, put it there. 
Um, sir, hello. This is my third try at this plane. I had to reinstall it. There we are. Okay, and let's request pushback. Release parking brake. And start push. Zephyrus, thank you, thank you. DC3 today, third time today trying to get this to work. And I had to reinstall it, but uh, it is working now, he says. Listen to those engines. And good old faithful pushback toolbar. I've had enough. I've had enough of everyone's shitty pushbacks. You know what? If I get a little bit of frame loss, I don't care. Everyone else's pushbacks suck. This is the uh, DC6, man. DMDG DC6. Yeah, sometimes it does. It's gonna fly. I'm sure of it. <coughs> there we are. Pushback is done. Parking brakes are set. And uh, there we are. And let me just switch it off in the menu as well, because apparently that helps. Okay. We are good. Let's taxi. <coughs> Parking brakes released and let's taxi. We also have a tiller, which I've also programmed. There's the tiller, look at that. It's beautiful. So we're going to go up to, uh, let's go up to 9,000, 10,000, all right? That's where we're going to take our cruise to. Actually, we'll go to 8,000, so it's nice and uh, nice close to the earth. Uh, Listen to the squeaky brakes. You didn't even miss, you haven't even missed the takeoff. <laughs> this is my third time trying to get up there. There we are. This is purely on, um, on idle power. This is moving. Okay, let's do before takeoff. Parking brakes set. Before takeoff. Press pumps. Press pump. Main tanks and cross feed off. Autopilot and car meet. Off and cold. Hydraulic system. Down. Forward, pressure and quantity checked. Okay. Flaps 20. Flaps 20. There we go. Flaps are coming down. I should have noticed it wasn't happening the last time. There we go. Look at Flaps that PBR. Windows and turbine. Closed and on. 
Controls. Controls. Dust lock released. Free. There we go. We have controls Three. now. Let's go one one uh, one one seven forty. One one seven forty. Extended at one. There we go. Lights are coming on. Okay. We can line up. So let's uh there we go. And once we're in the air we should get uh the next VOR. Okay. Parking brakes release, let's line up. We got flap 20. Okay, let's hold here and uh, <coughs> take off dry. There we go. So we're looking, looking at this now. Thirty inches stabilized there and there, uh, and he's going to go to full power. Cow flaps. flaps are sit. closing. Power, Both sides, Going yes, good. Going to full power and release brakes. There we are. You'll see the nose, the nose trying to take off. There we are, pull back slightly. And let it do what it's doing. There we are. And we are up. Buzz rate gear up. Positive rate gear, gear up. up. And we are good. Gear up, lots up. Listen to the sound. There we are, look at that. Beautiful. All good, nice and gentle. Flaps up. Flaps going up. Flaps going up. There we are. Meter power. Setting meter power, 48 inches, 2600 RPM. Okay. Just past 1,000 feet. We are good. Meter power set. Climb power. Setting climb power. Setting climb power. There we are. Let's just use our trim. Keep it at a 1,000. 1,000. There we are. There we are, good. That is perfect. Climb power set. Have to take off checklist, please. Okay, good. After take off checks complete. It's 
So we've got uh, our uh, VOR 65 nautical miles away. So we're going to head up towards that. So let's try the gyro pilot again. There. Oh, sorry. Gyro pilot on. There. And we're going to go to localizer. There we are. Okay, let's keep our our climb. We're going to climb to 8,000 feet, and we're now heading towards Look at that, it's beautiful. And there is download. Is that download? Yeah, it's download. It's caught me. Sorry, download about that. But yeah. But hey, it's looking beautiful. Look at that. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? There we are. Okay. So we should be going to Cozy. We will intercept our flight plan. Our VOR is in that direction, so we're okay. We will end up going that way, so I'm not worried. We are steady at uh, 1,000 feet per minute. That's good. Little bit. There we go. Drop the nose tiny bit. So those are the wheels over there for the pitch. 5,000 feet we're coming up to. Yeah, yeah, I had to uh, uninstall it and reinstall it. So that was quite quick. Um, luckily, I have a lot. I use add-ons linker, so I don't have to remove so much, like deliveries and all of that. So, uh, yeah, that was okay. So, yeah. And we should be banking left soon enough. Everything up here looks good. Pumps are off. Selectors off. And uh, let's just check all. Fuel pressure looks good. Oil pressure and temperature. Oil temperature is very good. Oil pressure is good. That's all good. Yeah. Uh, we don't need any de-icing here. Our lights we don't need. We can just do yeah, normal cockpit heat. Everything else here is good. Yep, we're all right. Seriously, CTD. Oh man, and I thought I was the only one having problems. Okay, banking left. Okay, so let's have a look at our, we're at 7,000 feet. We're going to level off at uh, 8,000 feet. So we're using the gyro pilot. 
okay? Yeah, let's hope that um, um, Sim Update 10 solves some of that stuff. So there we are. We are on our VOR track, as you can see. We are very much on our VOR track there. Have I got a zoom of that? No. So if we see that there, there's the needle going to VOR2 and our VOR is right ahead of us. And um, Fifty-three nautical miles. Actually, let's just see. What is it? Three ten, three o nine, is our heading there. So let's have a look. Is that three o nine that we want to be at? So three. Three oh nine there. Yep. So we're heading towards uh, Rhode Island, which is below us. Oh, and I've gone past crew. I've gone past the crew. So that's not a problem. We're going to drop the nose down. There we go. That's what I want. It was just a educational thing. Oh, I've passed the cruise level. Now do we get back down? That's how we get back down. There we are. Dropping the, the VSI. Down to 500. There we are right there dropping it down 500 500 and there we go and we're going to be at 8,000 feet all right so that's 9,000 we will level off at um, 8,000 feet. Yep, same route, hasn't changed. Nine thousand feet. So the first one we're coming up to is one one five six zero. I've not done that VOR, I've done the VOR afterwards which is 42 nautical miles away. We go nine eight and a half thousand feet start to uh, reduce that and 
There we are, nearly there. Keep that nose down. We're good. Eight, uh, 2050. Nearly there. Eight one hundred. There we are, nearly eight thousand feet. And we do an altitude hold and we are good. Eight thousand feet. Perfect. Who's that out my window? How's that out my window? Elithan, okay, don't know who that is. Alright. And we can now go to cruise power. In the cruise phase and there we go. Set. Cruise power. Cruise power. There you go, the inches of mercury, manifold pressure, 35, 35 inches of mercury, 30 inches of mercury, 32. Cruise power is set. The 32. Or 30, yeah, 32 inches of mercury. And we're good. And that should start bringing the uh, speed down there. Cruise checks are complete. And we are golden. Too many indicators, man. I mean, yeah, it is uh, overwhelming, but it does sound nice, doesn't it? I mean, imagine the Mad Dog. The Mad Dog's even worse, I would take it, or even the 146. The 146 is hard work. I haven't got the 146 yet, but I'm sure that's hard work. I'm waiting for that to go on special offer or something. Yeah, the Mad Dog's got a lot of dials. Imagine Concord, although I won't, I will not waste uh, money on the Concord. Yeah, man, nothing sounds better than these, do they? Listen to that. I mean, landing this beast is also a hell of a challenge, I tell you. I think it's a very underrated aircraft in the simulator. Um, I mean, when you go on the forums and that, all you hear is people complaining, but I don't know what they're complaining for. 
I tell you, I mean, it is a great, it's a great aircraft. Even the Boeing 247, I think, is quite interesting. Okay, so we're on to our next VOR. So if we put uh, in VOR1, so if we went here, this is VOR1, this is VOR2. So if we did, um, let's say, what was it? Um, what's the next VOR? Let's have a look. So the next VOR is put, which is... What? Oh no, sorry, we're going towards put. The next one is BAP. 113 decimal zero. So let's put 113 decimal zero in this one. So 113 decimal zero. Okay, there. And enable that. And now we should pick up the second needle, which is on VOR1. We're not in range yet, which is it's showing zero down there. So we're not in range yet. That's NAV1. That's NAV2. That's where we're going right now. If we go to NAV1, put, sorry, BAF is a 40 mile, 40 nautical mile VOR. So we should get something coming up on here when we are 40 nautical miles away from that VOR. For now, we will leave that 10 nautical miles. There's the needle of VOR2 telling us it's right ahead of us. When we're in range of the other one, it's going to spin and point us to that direction. This, however, is going to start to turn and end up behind us because we are going to be passing it yep so we will when we pass it it will start to spin and then be behind us we can put this away for now we don't need that windshield wipers do they work no oh They don't work. Maybe they don't work when you're up in the air. But it's a, a beautiful plane. I do really like it. But I haven't flown it, as I say, for over six months I haven't flown it. Because there's just too many other things, man. Why do you need an EFB in a 737? I don't understand. I don't understand what it would possibly add to the sim, to be fair. In the in the 737. What would you put in there that isn't already in the MACD? Or in the FMC, sorry. What would you I mean okay, the charts maybe and that's about it. What else? I mean, coming from, I mean, okay, P3D had P, the EFB, but it was the performance stuff. But to be honest, you don't need it. I, I, don't, I don't understand why people are so, oh, I want an EFB, I want an EFB. I don't understand that. So buy another monitor and put Navigraph on that monitor. <laughs> How are we doing on fuel? Let's just have a look at our fuel because I didn't. Uh, so where are my fuel? Ah, oh, there's my fuel quantity. So that would be control there. So we have, this is empty. We don't have any in these ones. We've got full tanks in the alternate one and four. 
Our main tanks are 35,000 uh, pounds. Here, there, there. We're good. We got enough fuel. I'm not worried about fuel. Okay. And there you go, you see our VOR needle has gone behind us because that VOR is behind us now. And the other VOR is coming to range because the needle has moved and is pointing directly ahead of us. And if I go to nav 1, it tells me it's 37. So 40 miles was the, ra the range of it and uh, it's telling me at 225 knots I'll be there in 10 minutes very good perfect and there's download in his TBM just off my wing there's download in his TBM and uh, he will be joining this flight all the way to Buffalo I would love to fly in one of these in real life. I think it could be interesting. Okay, I can close the tutorial. <laughs> Yeah man, back to the 80s. I think the TBM is fast enough to catch me. I don't know. He goes seven knots faster. I'm doing 230 knots. <laughs> isn't it like the TBM? Isn't that like a turbo prop? I thought I thought it's a turbo prop, isn't it? It's like two jet engines. Oh, sorry, a jet engine at the front, a single turbo prop. They should be touching the speed of sound with them. You haven't got the, 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 the props at Feather or something, have you? Yeah, no, you're probably right, yeah. So we are right now, where are we? Let's have a look. So we're going over Massachusetts and we're heading towards Springfield, which is a town out of the Simpsons.
there we go Springfield where the Simpsons live and uh, we are heading that way And then we will head into over Albany. So let's put Albany 11530. Okay. 11530, which is the Albany VOR, and it will tell us. So 11530. So 11530. 30. And we're going to set that as nav 2. So that will bring the needle. And it's there, right in front of us. So if we go back down here, they've already picked up nav 1 and nav 2. Nav 1 is 16 nautical, 17 nautical miles. And nav 2 is 75 nautical miles away. So Albany is 75 nautical miles away. Oh, you're going to climb. Where are you going to climb to? Let's have a look. Okay, he's approaching 12,000 feet. We're still very stable. It's flying beautifully now. Engines, carburetor temperature, cold, within icing range. Okay, so I think I have to do something like this. Uh, so, carburetor de-icer. So let's put it on, 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 and on. And then that should do something, I think. Cold within icing range so maybe then it will start to change to ticks so we'll keep an eye on that there we are we are good everything is good engine stress carburetor temperature okay Do I have to do anything else here? Uh, no, just that I think. Cabin heater. I think that's it. And then we've got some lights here. Let's have a look. Position. Flash. Seat belts are off. Entrance lights off. Wing illumination, I guess, with the icing. 
Uh, let's see, let's set those to flash and see what happens. Did I set them to... Oh, one more. Steady. Flash. We can go flash. Oh, let's go steady and see. Look at that now. And it's Grumpy Gordo! What are you in? That was an HA420, I can't remember. HA420. Is that a Honda jet? No. So we've got Gordo, we've got... Uh, is that Albany we just crossed? No. What airport is that? Westfield Barnes Regional Airport down there. Ah, yeah, Gordo's in the Honda. He's in the, he's in the Honda Civic of the skies, he is. All right. So everything is good up there. We were just checking the lighting. That's all good. are all right let's just go and check our carburetor carburetor cold within icing range they should have gone to green by now I would have thought unless I'm doing something wrong which is probably the case um, control 7 Carburetor, de-icer. Or is it my carb... Carburetor air? Let me check. In the documentation. Should my... What should my carburetor air be? Uh... The... EMDG documentation um, introduction I think is the one yeah and uh, what am I looking for I am looking for carburetor temperature carburetor carburetor carb Carburetor temp, and let's see. One match. Okay, carburetor temperature is uh, metric is monitoring the temperature of airflow through the carburetor. Okay. Okay, in yellow, orange. Uh, detonation. Okay. Metric also show a blue icon. Yes, a blue icon, which indicates that the current carburetor inlet temperature is normal and not dangerous but is within range known to promote the accumulation of ice within the carburetor inlet throat. It is important to note that the blue icon does not indicate the presence of ice or the existence of a problem. Okay, all right. So, yeah, we don't need to worry about it basically 
we don't need to worry about it. So I can switch off the um, carburetor. So they're off, 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 and off. Good. So we should be approaching Albany very, very soon. And then our next waypoint, our next VOR is going to be 117 decimal zero. And that's quite some way away. 117 decimal zero. So we are heading towards Albany 11530 so let's change this one 117 decimal zero and there we are and that's VOR1 Okay, downloads to 25,000 feet. Now he's got to be hitting Mach 3 or something. <laughs> or at least the prop blades are. Well, they've got to be supersonic, I'm sure. Two eighty six knots ground speed. I'm on two thirty six. Mine, the yeah, ground speed right now for me is about two thirty two, two thirty six. That's right, uh, when the blade tips hit supersonic, they lose thrust. Exactly. I don't have that problem. <laughs> no, I do, I do. <laughs> okay, I think, what is that? That is Pittsburgh. No, 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 sorry, it's not. It's um, Berkshire. Berkshire Berkshire Oh, there's a Windsor as well here And we're now approaching the New York, Massachusetts um, border A and P school. What is that? A and P school. Okay. Well, that is very, very funny, that is. You know why? Because I also graduated aeronautical engineering, airframes and power plants. <laughs> yeah, with a minor in um, with a minor in avionics. A minor in avionics and radiocoms. And then I uh, did not really work in the industry. I went, took my avionics and radio comms and then went into, into telecom 30 years ago. So 
yeah, telecom all my life, mobile, building, building, uh, building networks. So I, I build uh, telecom networks. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, I've been building telecom networks my whole life. Uh, base stations, cell, you know, cell sites, uh, cell sites and uh, switches, RF planning, microwave, that kind of thing. Smart cards. In about 40 countries around the world. Yep, there's a screw with my name on it. Idea of troubleshooting. <laughs> troubleshooting a wire. No, I, I enjoy it. I love finding all those problems. I love it. Gordo. Wow, Gordo, man. Five gifted subs so far. Seriously, dude. Gifted sub to download. Thank you, sir. Gordo is such a such a solid bloke in this team. Such a great uh, contributor to this channel, and even on our, on the Discord as well. We gave him we gave him a crash course on the Phoenix. So uh, he's now he's he's dealing with the Phoenix. Myself and Old Man Shaggy. We're teaching him uh, the Phoenix. I think he's got the 737 as well. I think he's got that down. Um, but yeah. Now we've got to get him on Batsim. We've got to get Grump Grumpy Gordo on Batsim. And there is a good event coming up where Nomad Aviator uh, is going to... When is that? Um, so I think he's going to do uh, controlling at, uh, at Toronto, as usual on Batson. And that's a good place. That's a good place to learn because Nomad Aviator will give you so much advice on how to be, feel comfortable using Batsim. So if you don't know who, who Nomad Aviator is, I mean, we should all know him anyway. Um, so Nomad Aviator, this is his channel. Go check out Nomad. He was streaming on. He was streaming earlier, uh, but he is also a Vatsim air traffic controller at Toronto Tower. Okay, what is this clip? <laughs> uh, go check him out. He's a really, really good friend, and um, it's like I've known him my whole life. Um, but yeah. Go check him out, and he will help you so much um, to to learn Vatsim and give you the confidence. And Toronto is a large airport, but yeah, yeah, totally, totally. Because he, all, we all started somewhere, right? And he understands that there are traffic controllers out there who just don't seem to get that. 
and I can now see Gordo's Honda I can see his headlights <laughs> I can see his nav lights in his Civic there he is in his Honda Accord slash Civic <laughs> and he's literally is that there he goes I wish you could right click like uh, in B3D you know right click scroll down to traffic and then select the plane to watch it's a shame you can't do that in um, in this set okay we are now heading towards uh, Syracuse, Cruz, a place called Syracuse. I hope I'm saying that right. Probably not. I say it like I see it. And then we should have that in our VOR. Let's go and check. Is that already in our VOR? It is. It's already there. So in VOR 1, 107 nautical miles away. But we can see that, as I said, we can see that right there. Who else streams? Does uh, does download stream? Oh, he did. Uh, he did. Uh, oh, farming simulator farming simulator why don't you stream flight sims so we got download who's a streamer we got Gordo who's also a streamer go check out Gordo as well he's got a really nice setup very nice setup oh he's got autopilot he's actually got an inflatable autopilot unbelievable seriously he's <laughs> oh wow that's incredible right I'm buying one of those when I'm doing I'm gonna buy one of those off of Amazon I presume I just don't want to buy up. I just don't want to buy a blow-up doll and get it delivered by Amazon. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How much? Let's see if I can get one of those blow-up dolls. Amazon. Auto. Ottoman. Auto pilot. Wow. Wow, you can't get it on Amazon. Okay, gonna have to be a bit more creative here. Auto pilot inflatable doll. There it is. Wow, terrible. Terrible. <laughs> That's so, that was so nice. Okay, there's Bordeaux right ahead of us and download there at 25,000 feet.
318 indicated airspeed, okay. Put it in a dive and you'll come put your you'll, you'll arrive quicker. <laughs> yeah, put it in a dive, you'll come quicker. That's what she said. <laughs> oh dear. Sorry, got off got off the tangent there. So apparently, apparently next week in the UK, sort of Monday and Tuesday, we're almost going to hit 40 degrees centigrade in the UK. It has never been as hot as that since records were kept. And now all over TV, all we're hearing are like warnings about what not to do and what to do for 40 degrees I think the sun's getting hotter I think our planet's just fine I reckon the sun is the one with the problem although there have been many that disagree I'm sure we just can't go and check the sun can we <laughs> Yeah, but you have air conditioning. We don't have air conditioning in the UK. Very few houses have air conditioning. I think for that day, I'm just going to go to a mall and sit and have food and uh, and hang out in a mall like a 20 year, uh, like a 15 year old. Yep, no air conditioning. So that's it. Everyone's going to the mall. Gonna go watch a movie. Uh, maybe I'll go and watch a movie, go and have a bit of Japanese food, you know, take it nice and easy. Eat as slow as I can with a couple of chopsticks. <laughs> yeah, that should take an hour. First time you got introduced to no AC. Oh really? They have no AC in Hawaii? No AC in Hawaii? Isn't it get hot there? Yeah, I don't have the Honda Jet. I've seen a few videos on it, but uh, why is it like cheating? Why? I thought it's supposed to be quite uh, advanced, or is it just uh, point and point and go, or something? Oh, look, we got a bit of weather coming. Wow, hold on a second. Where am I? Oh, we got a bit of weather. Oh right, so when it gets too hot, it just uh, it, it pisses down and then um, it cools down, then the mosquitoes come out and then they all die because of the heat and then it rains again, the mosquitoes come out 
<laughs> yeah, that vicious cycle. So we've got a bit of weather. We're, we're clear through it. Nice scenery down there. Honda Jet only has an up and down switch, no controls. What? I'm sorry, hold on a second. What? I gotta see this. Honda Jet MSFS. Okay, let's go and check out Q Pilot. Never get a copyright claim again by using. <laughs> okay. YouTube and Twitch, this is Q8 Pilot, your host for tonight's show. Enough is enough! I have had it with these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking Really? Everybody strap in! This aircraft is one that is very special to me, so I will probably be a little bit, a little bit biased. I want to see this thing. Very high resolution textures. Everything really looks uh, fantastic in terms of the texture here. We look model a, a highly automated aircraft so uh, and we, will, we will see we will see that once we start up the aircraft here from the school from guard state at san jose international james sb welcome aboard the i'll uh, watch i'll uh, watch this sir. later on what feedback do you usually provide to model aircraft developers well uh first of all um i provide them with uh, my overall um, experience with the aircraft, so I do. Ah, Batman! Them, hello. I, first, I will point out. They finally fixed the problems with the DC-6. I had to reinstall, uh, but now it's flying beautifully. Where are we right now? We are heading towards Syracuse. Cy Cruise. One one seven decimal zero is the VOR, and we are sixty one nautical miles from that VOR. Oh, then maybe we need to do some more uh, Phoenix flights, uh, Cordo. Then you can, um, me and Shaggy and Batman and download. Have you got the Phoenix, by the way? Have you got the Phoenix down though? Ah, oh, you're an Xbox, of course, of course. You've done like four. I plug everything in correct. My problem is when I get in the ear, it all goes to hell. So maybe we need to do it from there. So maybe what you need to, what we do is you fly on Discord, stream on Discord. We go in a chat and I let you do what you do. And, um, and then we have a look and just uh, try and talk you through what you need to be doing. And uh, I guess uh, like as if I was teaching you to fly. <laughs> what do you do? Dropping the base, chewing up. How's it, bro? How's it? I got it fixed. I got it fixed. It's all good. 
It's all good now. Oh, what's all these emojis, man? Goats. Sheesh. There we are. So we got Gordo. Oh, I had to uninstall it and reinstall it. But luckily, I mean, I have a lot of stuff on add-on linker. So I didn't have to remove the liveries or anything. And uh, yeah, done. So there's downloading a TB9. There's Gordo in the Honda jet. And we are flying towards Sierra Cruz. Sierra Cruz. In New York. I don't know if I'm saying it correct. But uh, Sierra Cruz, Sierra Cruz. And then uh, from there. We will head towards Rochester, the VOR at Rochester. So we have the VOR. Uh, we can put Rochester in now, actually. Uh, 110 decimal zero. 110 decimal zero. So 110 decimal zero. Sarah Cruz, Sarah Cruz. Okay. Sarah Cruz. What? Sarah Saracus? Really? I don't know. I couldn't live there. If I can't pronounce it, I can't live there. <laughs> it's like... It's like Worcestershire. I can live there because I can say Worcestershire. You know, that Worcestershire sauce. Okay, 110. Yeah, Worcestershire or Buckinghamshire or Hampshire. You know? <laughs> okay, one one zero decimal zero is VOR two. And uh, we will not pick that up yet because we are too far away from it. Rochester is a 40 nautical mile. For, for, what do you mean what runway? Are you there already? Sierra Cruz, Sierra Cruz. Okay, Sierra Cruz. What runway? Uh, we're coming in on. We are going to be coming in on runway 32. Runway 32. One runway 32 at Buffalo. Um. Yeah. So Rochester VOR is a 40 nautical mile. Um, VOR so we will not pick it up yet and that is why the VOR needle is gone to its uh, default standby mode and when it starts to pick up the signal will spin towards the VOR and right here VOR2 shows nothing so we're going to be at C C -R -R -Q -S. Syracuse uh, 39 nautical miles and that's 10 minutes we're doing a ground speed of 230 knots 233 knots and uh, we have some nice scenery on the ground look at that very nice scenery
And we've got a Concorde there at 33,000 feet. Nice, lovely scenery down below. The golf course. And we've got a bit of weather up ahead. But we're okay, we're okay. There's download. Gordo is over there. When we get to uh, Rectus, though, we'll be uh, parallel to Lake Ontario, and then Rochester Star. We will, after Rochester Star, a few miles after, we'll do our descent into. And I'm going to try and capture the um, the localizer for the ILS. I'm going to try and capture it and see if I remember how to do that. I do like this livery, I really do. It's so nice with the uh, the eye over here and the, the eagle's beak. And there's Otto right there. going through that weather up ahead okay there's download he's in front of me now I must say I mean I might keep two bar pushback in my sim I don't, I'm not getting any frame degra de degradation yet. It's, um, it's uh, totally fine. <clears throat> I just miss a proper toolbar push, I just miss a proper pushback. And from what I've been reading, it does also work on the Phoenix. So VOR1, <coughs> so we are going to put it in this one, the ILS. 
Okay. So let's uh, have a look at Navigraph for a minute. Flight. No, I don't have a flight. Ah, oh, from file. Let's see. That one there, maybe? Open? Yes, okay, good. Okay, so it will handle the flight plan from Little Nav Map. Very nice. Uh, okay, approaches is going to be 32. And uh, let me see what we were going to we were going to do is Elma. Yep, Elma. The so Elma. The selected departure runway was not found for departures airport. Runway I took off from was there. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, whatever. Okay. So, let's uh, do this. Overlay. So, I'm coming in at Elma right there. So, I want to be 2300. Let's see. I'm going to categorize, so, but then I will take over. But yeah, I'm going to have a go at that. So let's just uh, <coughs> look at the stitching and the texture. Not bad. Um, okay. So it is 109 decimal 95. Let me write that down. 109 decimal 95. So that's what we will use for our approach. And uh, I just want to see if I can catch, if I remember how to use the gyro pilot to catch it. Okay, good. Okay, so we're going to be heading to Rochester. We should have the BOR coming up very, very soon. 15 nautical miles from Rochester we are still 66 nautical miles from the VOR so we still won't see it come up here yet this needle will spin behind us as it is now because we are passing the VOR and we will see that here so there And there we go. It spins behind us because it is behind us now. And it is now 1.5, 1.6 as we are leaving it behind. Okay, so let's go to the VR2 indicator. And after Rochester, we can put in we can put in our 10995 so 10995 and that's going to be our v lock for our approach right hopefully But look at that scenery down there. It does look really nice, doesn't it?
hold on a sec I will be right back uh, Mrs. Gadget is asking for some stuff uh, I need to sort out just give me two minutes please thank you Okay, I am back. Taking care of. Okay, so where are we? Let's have a look. So we're heading to Rochester. We still haven't picked up the VOR yet, but Rochester should be ahead of us. We are around, we are around 44 nautical miles away, so we should be picking it up pretty soon, and we should see that needle spin, and this will become populated. You really like which plane, the Honda or the DC-6? Yeah, the DC-6, right. Okay, so now it is a beautiful plane. It is. I think PMDG does it, does it generally, generally do, they do a, a, a decent job. I mean, people are always going to complain, right? They're always going to complain. There we go, VOR is picked up and 14, 14 nautical miles we've got the VOR. There we are. It can be, when I, rem I remember when I first got it, um, maybe a week after it was released. Yeah, I had to watch a lot of tutorials just to figure out some of the stuff. Luckily, PMDG did a whole bunch of tutorials for it, so it was okay. There we are. 
40 nautical miles to Rochester. I mean, look at that. It looks beautiful, doesn't it? Hold on a second, Mrs. Gadget is calling me again. I'll be right back, hold on. Doesn't she know I need to fly? <laughs> I'll be back, hold on. Here we are. <clears throat> I am back. So the VOR Rochester 19 <clears throat> and then we'll do a left turn and head towards our star. landing is going to be interesting
there's Gordo, there's Download. I guess they're just hovering over, they're, they're circling over the uh, runway at the moment. I will start my descent after Rochester down to uh, 2300 I will try and aim for let's have a look yep 2300 just before Elmer Look at that lovely scenery down there. And that is that airport you can see just over there is uh, Rochester Airport. I think. Let's see, is it Rochester Airport? Yes, Rochester International Airport. You need certain things while you can't pick. So in your GPS, in the GPS, do you have this? So there's a CDI button. If you hit CDI, that's VLOC. And that's GPS. So you got to make sure it's showing GPS if you want GPS. Okay, <clears throat> coming over Rochester. There's Rochester. And uh, that is where Buffalo is, right there. Yeah, I used to go to the States a lot. Um, New York, Miami, uh, Miami, Indianapolis, uh, San Francisco, uh, I stayed in Washington State for about six months uh, whilst uh, working, doing some work with Microsoft. So uh, I stayed in a place called Gig Harbor in Washington. Um, and then I used to do a lot of Central and South America as well. All for telecom. I mean, building telecom networks. Hold on a second, what's going on here? There, there, so switch it off and uh, reset that.
there, 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 and there. Okay. Oh, really? I did not. Uh, I did not know that. I mean, that was a long time ago. I think most countries do. London has as well. A very big one. London, Birmingham, Manchester. They all do. It's everywhere. Especially these days with the uh, cost of living going right through the roof. I mean, it's just, it's crazy. Inflation's killing everyone's business. And uh, even, I mean, the war in Ukraine is really affecting our business because uh, we depend on a lot of roaming for some of our, for part of our business. So yeah, not people aren't traveling, are they, as much? But it will pick up eventually, I hope. Okay, let's uh, start the gentle descent as we have already, 500, let's drop it a little bit more, there we go, keep it at 500, I want to be at 2300, Q&H, What is Q and H right now at Buffalo is three zero one seven. That should be fine. $75 to fill your truck. I tell you what, that's a bargain. That's a bargain. <laughs> Over here, we're paying two pound a litre, which is about six, six pound fifty for a gallon. So six pound fifty is So GBP USD. So let's say seven pound. So eight pound thirty a gallon. Yeah, nine dollars a gallon. Although it started, we're starting to see it come down a bit. We're seeing it come down a bit. Luckily, I do have an electric car, um, which is not uh, is okay. And also, I also have a hybrid as well. So we're approaching five thousand feet. For some reason, I'm not following the. Um, so let's just go that way. So there. And uh, gyro pilot on there. Okay. 
Let's try that. Okay, and localize that. There we go. Okay, that's good. Let's keep it there. 4,000. We are good. We are good. Approach is not active. Yeah, I don't want it to be active yet. Okay. There we are. 4,000 feet. Let's see, flight plan. Menu. Oh, did I do all that? I don't need to do that, surely. Okay, let's uh, trim that up a bit. There we 3,000. Okay. There we are, we're good. So we're coming in, we're coming in. Okay, let's get this guy sorted. Uh, descent. There we go. I did that a bit late, but that's okay. In range, there we go. For some reason, I am not able. Why is it going straight there? Direct to Elma. Okay. 
quickly, quickly, Elma. Elma. No. There we are. Okay, I'm flying this. Here we go. Autopilot is off. And there we go. Okay, I have the aircraft. Here we go. Before landing. There we go. Okay. We're coming in. <clears throat> Flap to down. we go and it is there on our right okay okay and there we are so let's just uh, have a look and let's see we are a bit too low that's okay Landing gear is down. Runway is ahead. Traffic. Traffic. This, this Traffic. is a uh, Boeing. This is not a Boeing. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, go up a little bit. 
that we can see that. There we are. There's the runway in sight. Okay, good. We have flaps down. Yes, we do. And there's the runway. Okay, let's bring it down. Runway is ahead. Coming into Buffalo. Hello, where's the runway gone? Ah, uh, there it is, is it? Yep, okay. Looked like a building to me, that did. <laughs> 700. The landing lights get obscured by the, uh, the, the, uh, the trees there. But okay, we're good, we're good. There we are, look at that! Okay, where am I going? Where am I going? Long taxiway. How did I get zero? I mean, impossible. Gordo, there's Go Grumpy Gordo. I don't see him in a Honda yet though. Oh, what's going on with my frames in this place? Let's find a uh, decent place to park up. Uh, off the landing checklist. Off the landing checklist. There we go. Off the landing. There we are. Oh, something is going on here. What is going on here? What do I have? Oh, 
after landing checks complete. There we go, after landing checks are complete. And uh, let's uh, head towards the uh, apron over there on the right. How did I get that land rate? I have no idea, man. No idea. But now you have proof that I am a boss when it comes to landing. <laughs> there we are. I haven't landed yet. I've landed, but this was like the third time. I had problems with the uh, with the DC six. I had to reinstall. Uh, so it was the third time. And let's put it over. Where are we going to put it? Let's put it over. Wow, it's really busy here. Let's go here. Landing rate of zero, mate. Zero. How does that happen? Do they have a thing for a DC-6? Wow, it's too big for a DC-6, is it? There's Gordo. Okay, parking brakes are set and parking. Look at that man. That is beautiful. Okay, let's open the doors. Doors are opening. And uh, let's uh to the stairs. No, that was not that. Sorry. Doors. And stairs. There we are. Cheat mode, yeah, probably. Okay, main air cabin, main stairs, and cargo holds. Ground power unit connected. Um, we can do wheel chocks. Let's do mechanical stand, engine oil pans, PO covers, and tow bar tractor. There we are. And that's it. Welcome to buffalo wow even raises the nose there we go see everything is sorted there it is a nice uh, plane 
up to you Batman if you want to install it um I was getting a little bit of frameies I don't know if that's because of toolbar right uh, Indiana I don't normally get it so I don't know if it was because of toolbar but uh, yeah cool thank you everyone for being patient i know it was the third attempt to get this dc6 off the ground um but yeah we finally got it off the ground and i hope that those who don't have the dc6 sort of see the charm of this aircraft it is a it's a pleasure to fly it really is um it is definitely uh, it's a pleasure to fly just like any of the uh, pmdg stuff it's it's really really nice um i will be flying this again um because there are many other things i wanted to try um and we will try that on another flight all right in the meantime thank you everyone for joining uh fat rally Art, thank you for the follow gordo thank you for the gifted sub that's five gifted subs man uh Sephiris, thank you for subscribing again i know you got a bit of ocd when you lose that badge <laughs> um but yeah 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 there is there is a fix where you can do something to the registry and then you can have a little app running in the background to empty your memory of any leaks um i haven't tried that i really don't think i need to start messing around with the registry i just don't like it I've got so many other things messed up in the registry. I don't, don't want to add something else. Um, yeah, uh, hand, handball shug. Thank you for the follow as well. All right, everyone. I will catch you on the next one. Uh, that will be uh, either late tonight, if someone's up for a flight, late tonight, or tomorrow, definitely. Um, and I might do the DC-6 again, um, followed by uh, maybe a short flight in the DC-6 and then uh, something in the 737. Let's do a PMDG day. I've had enough of the Phoenix for a while. Um, yeah. So, uh, everyone, take care. Stay safe. And behave. All right. <laughs> All right, guys. Later. Yalla, bye, bye-bye.